As is our tradition at Pilgrim, we like to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates during worship each spring as the school year comes to an end. All graduations mark transitions, leaving one community with its experiences, expectations, and relationships, and looking forward to what's next. Whether you're moving from nursery school to kindergarten, elementary to middle school, or completing your doctorate, all graduations are a cause for celebration and reflection. This year, we have decided to focus special attention on our high school and college graduates because they are missing out on the pomp and circumstance that they and their families have been planning for and looking forward to for years. It's a big moment and it will happen. But as with virtual church services, we need to find creative new ways to celebrate virtual graduations. And so I am delighted to celebrate our 2020 high school and college graduates today. Nick, Mike, Lindsay, and Delanae, it has been a joy to participate with you in our youth ministry activities, to talk with you, to learn from you, and to watch you grow. Each of you is wonderfully unique and awesome. You have so much to be proud of and so much more to look forward to. Asha, Faith, and Paula, all three of you have been a blessing to me and to our entire Pilgrim family throughout the years. Your hard work has been inspiring, but your spirit and spirited personalities have been your greatest gifts to us. I hope you know that your Pilgrim family has been holding you close in our thoughts and prayers, even if we haven't seen you as often as we'd like during the past few years as you've been pursuing your higher education. We are extraordinarily proud of you and all that you've accomplished so far, and we can't wait to see what's next. Congratulations to all of you and blessings for the journey ahead. Congratulations on making it through high school or college. You're entering the next phase of your life in kind of a weird time. Um, but I need to let you know that weird times have happened before and people have made it and so can you. For example, 50 years ago when I was in college, um, pregnant women for one semester at my school Pregnant women were not allowed, in theory, to take classes. And pregnant women, or any women, were actively discriminated against um, in the job market. And yet, we survived, and thank heavens, those times are behind us. You will survive, and you will thrive, whether you're continuing your education, 
or whether you're entering the workforce. You have all it takes and you have a village behind you. Nick, I'm so proud of you and your graduation. Congratulations. Nick and all the graduates, you did it in spite of everything that 2020 threw at you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi from Pennsylvania, Nick. Congratulations, we're super proud of you. Best of luck. This graduation congratulations is for Nick, Delaney, Lindsay, Asha, Faith, and Paula. I'm so sorry you got cheated from your graduations, but Pilgrim loves you and we recognize that you graduated and we saw you work hard and we heard stories from your parents about how great you were and are. So you've done amazing work. Thank you. You've made us all proud. Good morning, graduates. Congratulations on this momentous occasion of your graduation. Your Pilgrim family is so very happy for you and we wish you all the very best. Graduation. Good luck in your next adventures from the Dales. Bye. Asha. Hi, Asha. These are, we're the Coxes, obviously, from Indy, and we wanted to join your special day and wish you happy graduation. Hey, Lindsay, congratulations on graduating from OPRF. I wish you the best in your college years as an Illini. I know you will do well. You have an enthusiastic personality. You're a good friend who's caring and generous. You're an entrepreneur with an endless spirit. As things get back to normal, I hope you can enjoy everything that college has to offer. The best is yet to come and may all your dreams come true. Good luck and remember, I love you. Dear Delaney, I have known you a long time. I knew you when you were very little, and Rose babysat you and Gabe one summer, and we got to hang out together. You joined the Trouble Choir, and you sang the role of God when you were seven in the role that I wrote for you in the musical about Jonah. Uh, several times you joined us and went to choir camp in Minnesota, so we had that whole road trip experience together. And then later, I would cajole you every year to sing a solo for the Christmas pageant. Now you are off to accomplish new things, Continue to challenge yourself and let your light shine. Congratulations. We are sending our love and excitement for you as you graduate from college. We cannot believe this day has already come. This is a wonderful accomplishment to be proud of and know that we are very proud of you. Know that we are here for you in spirit and in celebration as you make decisions for what comes next. Follow your passions, continue to do great things, and know that you will always have the love and support of your families and friends. Stay connected and know that we love you. Take care. Hey, Asha, congratulations on your graduation. We're very excited for you. You're going to do great. Congratulations. Congrats, Asha. Congrats. Congrats. I know that this is not the way that we plan to celebrate your graduation, but I just want you to know that I am truly celebrating you today. I am so proud of you and I'm so proud of all of your accomplishments. 2020 is not starting out the way that we expected it to, but I am sure that you will be successful no matter what is going on in the rest of the world. So today, just remember that I love you and I am proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates 2020. Now is a new beginning for you. Good luck in your future and 
continue to put your foot on the gas. Don't let up. Hi, Paula. Congratulations on finishing up at Triton. I'm really excited for you, and I can't wait to see what the next few years hold. Congratulations. And we are very proud of you, honey, and I know that uh, the next couple of years will be tough in school, but I know that you're going to power through because that's what you've been doing and you've honed your technique. So, love you and, you know, we'll be here for you, hon, full time. Love you. And to all the other graduates, congratulations as well. Amen. Your high school years have presented challenges and disappointments. Adults in your life have um, failed you or disappointed you. And some have supported you and sacrificed you. Even in these last remaining days of your high school years, you face many personal obstacles and have contended with a, a, a ream of worldwide troubles of these times. In spite of these things, you've achieved your goals in your academics and in sports and in art. Uh, and when you saw people in need, you offered your services. Through these experiences, you've become a loving and responsible young man. Now you leave us to follow your career and learn new things. Please continue to follow your beliefs and to serve those in need. We keep you in our prayers and we love you. Congratulations again. 2020 grads, well done. Congratulations. We don't know when or how you will work, but we know that you will. We don't know when or how that you will travel, but those of you who want to, you will. My hope for each of you is that you find love and joy and satisfaction in the midst of your life. Your life is in your hands and you have the entire Pilgrim congregation here to support you. Well done and congratulations. Hello graduates, we just wanted to say congratulations and we hope that you're proud of all that you've accomplished this year. We know this isn't probably how you and your friends and family were expecting to celebrate the end of your year, but don't let that deter you from being proud of everything you've done and to be excited about the next steps we know you do great things out there in the world, and we wish you the best of luck. Bye. Bye. Paula Vesley, to Paula Vesley from Uncle Beerman and Auntie Ojan on the couch. Uncle Carrie and Auntie Ojan mm, on the are. couch. That's what we are. Yeah. Anyway, we want you to know that we have known you all your life. All your life. And we've known your parents all your life, all their life. And so we are here to tell you that we are here to support you. We know that you're going through a, what, a interesting time? Ah, exciting. Exciting time. As you explore college opportunities and you receive all these acceptances that are so deserved. You deserve them. You, you worked yourself to death and you kept plugging along and we love you for it and don't look at the the the, the, re, the what is it called the, the, the acceptances as though you have like oh my god i've got it this is but you have to look at them as as your you rewards did, your rewards you did this you, you pulled, worked you pulled it off so that's how we're very we, proud of uh, you proud isn't even proud 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 proud, proud. we are so proud of you and you have no idea how much so, because we've been through this with our kids too. Yeah. And so we watched your your mom. We even lived through this ourselves. Yeah, we watched your mom and dad get married. We watched, oh, did we watch each other get what, married? What's marriage got to do with it? We're talking about college. Yeah, but it's history. Oh, history. I don't recall. Do you remember getting married? 51 years ago, yeah. We, oh, I have no idea because I don't remember a, a minute. I looked it. a lot different. Well, I did too, but I looked, <laughs> did I look younger? Mm, yeah. So did you. And both of us skinny. Well, skinny. all I know is that 51 years ago, we got married and 36 years, is it 36? What? 
36 years for your, for your sister? Yeah. 36 years ago, your parents got married, and then as things kind of go, they had you, and... Well, we loved well, you there to it death. Is. And so there was Paula, and there you were, and you've been doing your thing ever since. And we think your thing is the best thing in the world. Yep, tenacity. Ooh, tenacity. You are tenacity. I love that word. Very tenacity. Good. Okay, so Paula, take care. We, we lo love you. We love, love you. you. Congratulations. You pick the right place. You pick it well because when you do, you're going to go places. Yep. You go, girl. Bye. Love you. Oh, the places you'll go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. You look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. 